Hi, this is an overview of Excel data entry form with update function and search system. Now, let me show you guys how this works. Supposing we want to search for a name here, so we can just enter the candidate reference number and click on search. There, Kevin absent. Now, supposing we want to update whatever we have in here, look at the name Kevin absent. And we want to change that to maybe Kevin Goodman. And that is the whole purpose of the update. All we just need to do is make sure we know where Kevin is and we just click on update right there. There we go. And right here we can see Kevin Goodman and is now updated and even on the spreadsheet is updated as well let me show you guys the spreadsheet and right here that is the update record of Kevin Goodman all right so let's go back to the form the other thing that we can do is we can always reset and add new records okay. let's say the reference number is five plus and the name is let's go for and the surname is let's say Jones date is that right and this happens to be the identifier and it's going to be monthly member the cost of monthly member is that right all we just need to do is to update our system click on update there we go and if we come right down here we should be able to see Jones Henry Jones right there now the other thing is we can also delete excess records like we have Baller King there so we can just delete Let's come right down here. We also have Bola King here. Just click on delete. Get rid of Bola King. Okay. So you can update. You can delete. You can reset. And we can even print. There we go. I'm not going to bother with the printer. Because I don't have a printer on board. So you can always convert it to a PDF. Click on OK. And that's it. And right there the system is now allowing us to save so i'm just gonna save that straight on my desktop there we go now okay and right here is a pdf file that we save okay let's close that now the next thing is we can use the spin button just to navigate around as you can see and we can also go back all right then if you want you can exit you have an option to select yes you want to exit or no you don't want to exit now i'm going to purposely exit and show you the lines of codes each so let's go straight to the design so right here inside the code where i implemented the code i'm going to show you guys each lines of code that was used and if you want you can always go straight to the full tutorial is on YouTube and I'm going to show you guys I'm going to add the link for the complete tutorial and the update tutorial to this overview right here we have the variable that I declared and then the next thing I'm going to show you is where I initialize all of the components to so have a good look at it so this add the data onto the list box and here data is added onto each of the components and these components are just a combo box now let's come right down here this is where I add my the date and here I initialize the variable that is declared up there okay and that variable will now assign the data whatever data is on the variable onto each of the components that is that for the form initialize now 
let's go to search function double click on the search function from here down here are the lines of code for the search function and right here are the lines of code for the spin button now add new from here down here are the lines of code for the add new we don't need this print just two lines of codes there we go updates and from here down here those are the lines of code for updates and reset up to here those are the lines of code for the reset of course you can also reset each of these components here the that is a combo box we can reset those as well so we might as well just enter that in the reset the combo box like I said this is just an overview so the lines of code for the reset is completed now now let's have a good look at the delete button double click on the delete button right here the lines of code for the delete button let's go to exit double click on exit from here down here are the lines of code for the exit now let's go back to the reset if you notice for my reset I've actually entered frame 2 because all of the components that I intend to reset are all on frame 2 and here is frame 2 supposing there's no frame at all that means your reset will become me dot controls if there's no frame at all but in this case since I since the components are all on frame I enter the frame supposing the frame is frame 3 then that means I will enter frame 3 okay but I am using frame 2 so guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program again so that you guys have a good look at it and if you want the complete tutorial you will definitely see that on the link to it on the description area so with that guys I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial and I suppose you guys enjoy it and like I said this is just an overview you will definitely find the complete tutorial of the update and the advanced version of this tutorial on the description area thanks and have a nice day bye for now